Oh, oh my god. Oh, you're never going to stop shaking, are you? <laughs> that is one way to go down. Alrighty, may you rest in peace now, my friend. Welcome, everybody, to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda, we have Hard Reset Redux here today. This right here is essentially the definitive version of Hard Reset, which first came out in 2011, if I'm correct, over here. I've actually owned the original title on my Steam library for ages now. I'm pretty sure I picked it up for maybe a dollar and, like, one of the many Steam sales per year. Um, what's really cool about this, though, if you own the original version, you actually can upgrade to the Redux version for about $3, if I'm correct, over here. So there is that. Um, I'm not going to talk to you about my impressions or feelings about Definitive Edition of games. That's recently the latest craze in video games. Like, every game that came out, like, maybe four or five years ago has to come out later on with a Definitive Edition. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk to you just about Hard Reset as it is at the moment. Now, when it comes to the original title, even though I haven't played it myself, I've always heard mixed feelings about it. People either enjoy it a lot, or people just don't really find it to be too intuitive, or just too impressive. Um, I've been playing the Redux version here so far, and I've had a lot of fun with it, at least. The gameplay seems pretty fun. The atmosphere itself has got that whole cyberpunk thing, which I'm kind of a sucker for, so there is that. And the gunplay has been pretty fun as well. The weapons are pretty interesting, how the way you could use your the environment to your advantage as well against enemies, so there is that. But instead of talking more about it, let's get into the game and show you what it's all about here. So we'll go into New Game. Um, I should note I have everything maxed out and the game runs perfectly fine at 60 frames. I haven't really experienced any sort of lost frames, so at least it is optimized properly with the um, whole new remastered look to it as well. So we'll go into new campaign over here. January 17, 2436. Sector 6, European District, Bazaar City. Have someone join me after the shift is over. I don't like to drink alone. Most of the days are like this. I'm a proud soldier of the corporation. Others like me are made by the PR department to be sentinels of the sanctuary, the defenders of Bazaar. Amusingly, I do it for the money. We defend the sanctuary, a network that holds billions of digitalized personalities of human beings. The machines are our enemy. The corporation's eggheads proposed a theory implying the existence of an unsurpassable evolutionary limit of the current AI. The sanctuary is the possibility of the machines to break this limit. Alrighty, new objective, get to the breach. Let's see, let me swamp over to my good weapon here. Well, I mean, the, the rifle that we have right now isn't really too bad, but I do enjoy this bad boy right here a lot more. So, you move around WASD, same thing that you're normally used to over here. Let's move forward. As you can see over here, the game is running like 60 frames for me. Even when the um, action gets really overwhelming, it does run pretty nicely. What I found to be interesting about this game is the fact you use your at environment to your advantage a lot. So, at the moment, you saw how those little robotic dudes got fried by this little circuitry over here, right? We could definitely use that to our advantage as well, like by shooting this, for instance, it'll... Actually, no, you're supposed to shoot this with the rifle, if I'm right. So, let me give you a bit of an idea of this. Let's see, we should be getting tagged here pretty soon. There's these bad boys, kind of look like Mausers a bit from TMNT. Fry them up, fry them up! Yeah! <laughs> no! I do love- oh my goodness god, I do love how everything kind of has like an explosion to it and just kind of bounces over the place. Like these little gas canisters themselves can be shot and you could like send them propelling over all over the place which is actually pretty neat. Now this over here is going to be um, something you could blow up for a secret location. I really do enjoy this about the game, there's a lot of environmental destruction so you'll always find something hidden behind areas if you just take a little quick look and perusal about so there is that. Now we're here with some HP, we also got a secret, and we also got some money which will be used to kind of like buy better upgrades for your weapons and also different armor stuff down the line, which we'll probably be covering here pretty soon. But for now, let's just move on forward. And let's swap over to my other gun here momentarily, give this one a little bit of a run. Um, the upgrades are pretty cool. Like for this one, for instance, you could kind of toss like this cluster bomb that works essentially like the same way as if you would shoot one of those um, things on the walls right here. But it does require an upgrade, obviously, to actually unlock, but... That's kind of where we're kind of aiming ourselves to at the moment. Ooh, hey, buddy. Oh, oh my god. 
Oh, you're never gonna stop shaking, are you? <laughs> that is one way to go down. Alrighty, may you rest in peace now, my friend. And put some volume up here. I do hear some creepy noises up and about. So you can see he's got the whole cyberpunk setting to it. I'm a big sucker for that, so that's kind of like a plus in my book. Oh, big guy. Alright, so this is kind of like one of the, eh, like, mini-boss early on. You can kind of encounter over here. That didn't really do much to you. Can you actually come by over here and run by this? That'd be actually really helpful for me. Oh, it didn't really work out for you, huh? Alrighty. Just go ahead and use my gun for this one. Now, what's really cool about this, you should be able to dodge those, mind you. I'm doing a terrible job of showing that off. Now, what's cool about this, guys, you can see I was able to bring down his body first, and now his, his little leg, arm, whatever you want to go with here, but he's still determinedly coming after me, which is really impressive, honestly. This guy has, like, a will to survive and, like, obviously kill me, it does seem. Let me go after your other arm. There it is for you. So, you're opened up now. Let's actually just pop you open. Continue on our way. So over here we have another one of these explosives. So now that I know about this here, I should be able to... Oh, fudge! I didn't fight you the first time around because I never popped that open. Dodge? There you go. That's how you dodge those. Ah. Get that one. Yeah, bah, 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 bah. Bah, 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 A lot of shit just blew up behind me. <laughs> and I'm pretty certain everything is dead over here, which is great. Alrighty. Pick up some more ammunition over here. And the rewards are definitely worth it for some upgrades. Perfect. Let's go and... Mmm... You should have heard that one. So as you can see, the blowback of certain items can indeed hurt you. Right now we're taking some damage just by hanging out too close to the explosion. There's another one over here, so let me just get back as far as possible, and... <laughs> I'll just hang out back here if you don't mind. Excellent. Yeah, I completely missed this the first time around because I wasn't aware of that little top explosive up here. That is actually pretty neat. Mmm, I do believe this is pretty much it. You can interact with this here for some news. It does seem some more of this, um, I don't know, digital AI propaganda happening around here. Shop for an identity. But for now, let's actually just go forward. I want to wrap up this first mission for the video at the very least here. So there's like two ways to actually proceed with this level. I normally go down this side, but I do want to pick these upgrades up here. Oh, you can blow that up, but there's no secret behind there. How you doing, buddy? No, you were supposed to be shot with your other friends, like Silk the Shocker. There you are. That's the... Oh! Good glad, almighty. Still a lot of you guys around, huh? That's, by the way, a No Limit um, reference right there. You guys remember No Limit Soldiers, right? With Master P, Silk the Shocker? <laughs> or maybe if you don't, then you know, it might just date me even more because I'm um, relatively old man when that thing was at the height of its popularity. Assuming No Limit Records... Actually, you know what? Let's be honest here. No Limit Records was popular at some point. I can't even deny that. Why? I don't really know, but it was pretty popular. And over here is where you get your upgrades to your overall character. Get some more guns. Guns, upgrades, etc. There is another item back here. If you will allow me to proceed back here, great. Thank you very much. Let me jump over. Secret found. So I think the first thing we're going to go for is the cluster bomb upgrade. I really enjoy that one a lot. So we have one point over here. I think we have to go to the NRG weapon, which is a plasma rifle, and we'll get the... Wait a minute. Here we go. No? Here we go. Electric Mortar. The... Is that, is that it? Yeah, that's it. So this is essentially an upgrade to the gun that we have over here equipped at the moment that we're using. So um, I really like this one a lot. Let's go into installing that. Alrighty. So now we should be able to, if I'm right, we have to swap over to Mortar. There we are. You can see that? Pretty much the same effect as the things that you shoot on the walls, which is actually pretty cool for crowd control. Just open, continue down the line. Shut up this fire. My dude isn't really um, flame resistant, so if we walk through there, we might just die, which is, you know, not really in the plans for this video here. Alright, so over here we have like a pretty crazy, like, I guess, like, quote unquote, the first boss fight of the game. Oh, baby. This crash. So we're going to have a lot of dudes coming after us right now. And this is where it gets really, really crazy. So you have to definitely use your environment around you. Has it started already? 
Oh, it started already. Alright, so I'm gonna use the mortars here for a while. Because there's gonna be a lot of these guys coming at us. How did you how did you make it past? No 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 no. Now, you're probably noticing how the mortars do cost more bullets than just a regular shot. So, you definitely want to be a bit more poignant with the use of it so you don't run out of bullets here too fast. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and... Oh, here comes the big bad booty daddy. Alright, so far so good. He's rushing. Definitely rushing. We're far from done, mind you. Get this HP, get some more bullets as we can. Could be using some of the other guns, but once I get the mortar, you know, I have so much fun with these guns. It's kind of like, you know what, let's just hang out with this a bit further here. Something blew up behind me. Alright, let's go back to Plasma here momentarily. Oh. You gotta go down at some point, my friend. Ooh, nice dodge. There he goes. I don't think that's it, though. Here we go. Get him in Mortar Country before he rushes! Alright. Oh, good god, I forgot you had two friends. Okay. Dash around, dash around, dash around. See, the way that you guys are hanging out in that little pile right there, doesn't seem to me you should be alive still. I just need to dash out the fucking way, too. Go. Now you should be down, right? Yeah, you are. Ho ho ho! Hooey! It's a really good first fight, though. It just gets you more into the tune of things, how things will get hectic pretty much down the line over here. But it's a pretty good, like, you know, warm up course to show you what to expect down the line. HP. 200. Alright. Could have done a better job dodging some of those attacks there, but. Once you're getting into it, man, I just kind of like want to hold down the shooting button and just bring them down as soon as possible. Get some more credits over here, some upgrades. I do believe there's another upgrade machine down here. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see here. I think the other thing we could use is probably upgrading our assault rifle here a little bit. I'd like to go with the magnification because honestly, if you swap over to the first gun, as you can see, you can't um, zoom in for a proper shot. So the scope gives you that option over here. And I kind of like to go with that one, just so I can get some more precise shooting down the line, so... There you go, and as you can see now, we could zoom in a bit further for some shots, which is actually pretty decent. And it's going to be our mission right here, the first one anyway. Oh, good. Just step on fire, it's all fine. We talked about not being flame resistant earlier. Level completed, no deaths. One achievement only. Object destroyed, 134. Enemies killed, 68. Secrets found, 404. Hey, how about that? And that's our mission score for this one. But that is um, Hard Reset Redux. I wanted to give you an idea of how the gameplay worked and compared to the first one. Um, you know, obviously, if you played the first one already, you have a better idea what the differences are. But I have enjoyed it so far, and I wanted to show it off at the very least. So there is that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Information for the game will be below in the description. If you want to follow it and check it out for your own accord, it should be coming out on Friday when, it's, when, when it's this video should be going live at the same time. So it should line up properly. I will catch you next time.